Okay, so we've now got our scenario set up and we need to start making a decision. So let's add another comment in there to help us see that it is a choice one. So our decisions can be called choices. Okay, so we need to ask our character, our player, a question about what they want to do. And we're going to give them two options on this occasion, just two options on the first occasion. So we need to set up a variable. Remember to make sure that your variable doesn't have a space in. And if you want to use something other than choice one, like I've done, make sure you either use camel case or snake case. So camel case would be like that, and snake case would be like that. But equally, you're fine just doing that with a number. Okay, so let's ask a question. So we're going to use an input for this. And we're going to ask uh, a very simple question inside of our input we're going to say uh, press r to run away or e to use magic okay because in this game hey bob's magical right super so we've got to do something with that choice now okay so we've got to check what they've inputted as their choice so to do this we're going to use selection so conditions so if choice one equals equals so double equals, if choice one is equal to the string of R, because everything that they type in is a string, so if they've pressed letter R, colon, press new line, and make sure that there is the indent automatically here, type what happens. So print uh, the old crone catches you and puts you in the pot which in future will probably be a game over right there, or we might lose a life. But we'll worry about that in a bit. Then we need to go back up against the edge of the screen again and do an else, because we've only got two options, so we don't really need to worry about what else they might type. So uh, that's the good option. We're going to say you cast a spell on her and she explodes. Boom, okay, super. So we get away with the second one. So we just need to test that, that bit of code actually works. So let's run the code. Here we go, it's gonna go ask me all the questions again. So here we go, Bob. He's all our sleeps from the last video. And now we've got a, a, a decision to make. Press R to run away or E to use magic. Now I'm gonna press R and I'm gonna press enter. Oh dear, the old crone has caught me and put me in the pot. Now, my question here wasn't really well formatted because I've got magic and then R straight up against it. So what I just need to do to tweak it is to put a colon after the word magic in my input and a space, and hopefully that will make it a little bit better. Right, let's run it again, and this time we're going to use some magic. So Bob, don't let me down. Here we go, Bob. Welcome, Bob, to the adventure. Introduction again. Here we go, here's our question, a lot better formatted as well. I'm going to press E. You cast a spell on her and she explodes. Super, so we've set up our first scenario, our first choice, our first decision in our game. My question to you is, what would happen if I ran this but pressed the letter X? So let's run it. Bob, I want to know... What you predict is going to happen if I press X and then press return. Which of the options am I going to get? Well, you try it on yours and then I'll see you in the next video.